Hey guys, I wanted to make a benchmarking video between my Galaxy S4 on the left, my Nexus 4 in the middle, and the iPhone 5S on the right. One thing to note is my Nexus 4 does have a custom ROM on it, it's the Paranoid Android custom ROM. It does have the stock kernel though, so there shouldn't be that much difference between them, but it may have some optimization, so take that into account. So we'll start off with Geekbench, which is a CPU test. The Galaxy S4 has a quad-core Snapdragon 600 clocked at 1.9 GHz. The Nexus 4 has a 1.5 GHz Snapdragon S4 Pro and the iPhone 5S has a dual core 1.3 GHz A7 chip. Now just because it's dual core, don't write it off, it's very strong. And let's not forget the iPhone 5S has just come out whereas the Nexus 4 is about a year old and the Galaxy S4 came out in April. So we're just going to run these and I'll try and hit these at the same time and we'll skip to the results. So the results are in, you can see the iPhone 5S wins out in both single core and multi-core performance. If you check out the single core performance, it's actually really impressive. The Galaxy S4 scores 682, the Nexus 4 scores 505, and the 5S scores 1415. So it just shows you how powerful that dual core really is. Now the multi-core performance is a lot closer, but the iPhone 5S is still winning, even though it only has two cores compared to the four cores of the other two devices, which just shows you that cores and clock rate aren't everything. So next up we got 3 Mark, which is a GPU test and I am running the iStorm Unlimited so stuff like VSync and display resolution doesn't matter, it's all rendered off screen so it should be a fair test. Okay so the iPhone's finished first and you can see the first graphics test is 105.8 FPS, second graphics test is 66.7 and the physics test is 24.7. The physics test result actually seems a little bit low but we'll have to wait for the other two devices to finish to compare them. Okay, so the results are in. If we just take the graphics test one for now, we'll start off at the Galaxy S4. It scored 48 FPS. The Nexus 4 scored 64 FPS. I'm not quite sure why the Nexus 4 is scoring higher considering the Galaxy S4 has the same GPU as the Nexus 4 but a stronger CPU. I'm not quite sure. That could be because of the paranoid Android ROM or it could be because of the improvements in Android 4.3 on the Nexus 4. And the iPhone 5S has 105, so it's clearly winning out easily on the GPU. Again, graphics test 2 is much the same. You can see the Galaxy S4 again coming last and the gap between the iPhone 5S and the Galaxy S4 and the Nexus 4 isn't quite as big as graphics test 1. And lastly, we got the physics test. Now, the iPhone 5S actually comes in last with a score of 24.7. The highest score is the Galaxy S4 with a 42.6 and the Nexus 4 comes in with a 34.2. So this is obviously one of the areas where the extra two cores on the Nexus 4 and Galaxy S4 are helping out over the iPhone 5S. Okay, so the last one we're going to run here is Limpack, and I will run the single and multi-threads. I'll run it a few times as well. The Galaxy S4 on the first run scores 292, the Nexus 4 scores 85, the iPhone 5S scores 527. So a pretty massive difference there in terms of the single thread. We'll run this again because it's pretty inconsistent. 327 for the Galaxy S4, 89 for the Nexus 4, and around 518 for the 5S. And last time... 305 for the Galaxy S4, 91 for the Nexus 4, and 522 for the iPhone 5S. So the iPhone 5S clearly wins. I have no idea why the Nexus 4 is so low in Limpack. I've never understood it. But anyway, let's go ahead and try the multi-core. So here we go. The Galaxy S4 scores 694, the Nexus 4 scores 252, and the iPhone 5S scores 962. So again, pretty powerful multi-core performance. Second run, 638 for the Galaxy S4, 241 for the Nexus 4, and 959 for the 5S. And the last run, we got 814 for the Galaxy S4, 210 for the Nexus 4, and 963 for the 5S. So the multi-thread is a lot closer to the 5S than the single core, but the 5S is still winning out. So there you have it guys, you can just see how powerful that dual core A7 processor is in the iPhone 5S. It's going to be interesting to see what the Nexus 5 can do against it, as that's a bit more of a fair test. But yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Peace out.